exalt thy name and we Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Oh, you love him tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is his life tonight. He is going to end for another battle today. And we know we're going to win that battle tonight. Amen. Just keep your faith. Amen. Amen. Yes, and be in the name of the Lord. Amen. To the title of the message today. Is if the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith? Amen. Amen. Shall he find faith? Amen. Shall he find faith? Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, will there be a pride to represent him? Amen. To answer that call tonight? Amen. Oh, blessed be his name. Amen, amen, amen. 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 So God will bless you. Amen. amen. As we switch, amen, the order of service tonight. Let us just pray one more time, Father. We thank you for the blessing in Jesus' name. Amen.
but she, but she wearied me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Now watch how he ties it in to the Son of Man in the previous chapter, verse 30, where he had already revealed himself. Nevertheless, he tied in prayer now and waited a long time. It's like we've been doing. Amen. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Amen. In Ephesians 4, verse 7, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower part of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ, St. John 14, 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. May God the blessing read of his word. May we shall we bow heads for a word of prayer. Almighty God, we've read the word of God. The people have already been here and had a whole service already. Singing and shouting and speaking and amen so now father may you freshly anoint me and strengthen me lord and may they be praying for me amen praise the lord may you anoint the audience amen and they have to bring forth a revival and lord god may you empty the heavens out and pour out the holy spirit from on high praise god and may you confirm it with signs wonders and miracles and Lord, the people that were prayed for, we pray every one of them that was healed according to their wishes. Amen. So be it. So now, Lord, uh, 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 give glory for thy holy child, Jesus, by stretching forth thine hand and doing signs, wonders, and miracles, and may great grace and power be upon us all. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. We pray, Almighty God, and we ask the blessing. Amen and amen and amen. anointing that way for this one to come amen for the preaching of the word i'm just talking a little bit before amen so now brother norman have a title when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth and my subject is the son of man cometh to seal up the bride amen, amen. praise god so are you understanding what's going on here now amen Praise the Lord. And you know the backsliders are coming back. And, uh, and, and so what the people that's here cannot be like, I don't know how I got here now, just switch me over. And uh, we can't be like the, the prodigal son's brother. The wife, when your husband comes back, you have to receive him. Don't say you're not ready to receive them, but you will. You're happy to receive them. You've been praying for them all these years. So don't lay in the bed and say you're sick. Get up out of the bed and minister to your husband. Cook for him. Do things for him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Same thing with the wives and the husband and the wife and children, whatever. Be ready when it comes. And if God would send your husband back to you, what are you talking about? Praise God. He said that you have. Oh, here he is. You married him, didn't you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you'll wash his feet this morning. Maybe you'll take your hair and kiss his feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. Maybe you'll minister to the Holy Spirit finally. Hallelujah. Praise God. After all these years, the Holy Ghost has been among you. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's here right now. You feel him. He's upon you. You can't deny him. Hallelujah. Glory. You may be seated. Praise God. My inspiration of other Ephesians. Jesus Christ is here. Is here. I got two questions. How, uh, one question, number one. How powerful is prayer? Amen. How powerful is prayer? Amen. Question number two is my title. When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? Amen. So we want to answer those two questions. Amen. Now, question number one. How powerful is prayer? Amen. My expectation of leading was uh, Long Beach, California. I read part of it last week there. And, uh, and, uh, and that is a, a, a tape there. Prayer is the key. That's the answer. Prayer changes things. Prayer is the most powerful weapon that was ever put in control of human beings. Hallelujah. Don't you remember those, that scientist? Those scientists when they were testing that woman who was a rich woman? Brother Graham told a story and they had put her away because she got saved. No rich people want Christ around. They got all their bees and everything else. And yet they mistreated her and finally put her in an institution there. And yet that woman forgave them and prayed for them. They thought she was crazy. And they finally they brought the doctors in there with a machine to, to test, to gauge her prayers. Amen. And when she began to pray, praise God for her family. My God. She began to pray for those who misused her. She began to pray for those who spoke against her. She began to pray for those who didn't shake her hand. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. She began to pray for those that spoke against her. She began to pray for her family. And they were testing it, and the needle began to come up, praise God. She began to pray for the doctors, for the scientists, and the needle banged on the other side. Bang, 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 bang. That's how powerful prayer is, praise God. The scientists found out. The doctors found out. And you are finding out now. God is raising the dead. Healing the sick. Praise God. Hallelujah. Perform miracle after miracle. Why? Because you are praying. They want the Lord of the harvest give you the Holy Ghost. Huh? Praise God. Won't God deliver you? Don't faint now. Don't give in. It's not the time for giving up. It's the time for holding on. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may be seated. There's no atomic bomb or H hydrogen bomb as powerful as prayer. Can you imagine? Your prayer is more powerful than the H bombs, than the guided missiles. Changes. Prayer can shake nations. Hallelujah. Praise God. Your prayer can bring back your backslidden husband, your wife, your children. Brother Nino, Brother Sister Melody, your prayer can change Timothy. Your prayer can change John. Your prayer can change Paul. Don't tell me, praise God. We don't have to pray always and not faith. Yes, God's broken. He may not answer. 
is seated. Amen. Now remember, after Elijah brings his word, Messiah, then Messiah appears immediately on the scene. However, a, a charity has fallen, and he lets you know that he is here. The dead is being raised up by power, and the Holy Spirit is poured out December 29th. January and February, miracles and healings begin to appear. What are these? These are signs of the Messiah. You're praying. It's his signs. I'm here. Why? Because you're not to faint now. You're not to give up now. Just when you're right there at the gate. Oh, hallelujah. How can you give up now? Huh? Because you must pray to bring Messiah on the scene. Somebody on this earth has got to be praying for Messiah to come on the scene. The same way God sent Elijah, but you got to pray first. God wants you to be part of it. God wants you to be able to say, I mean, we were praying in New York, praying Scott and Messiah come in there. Hallelujah, the dynamics to the mechanics and poured out the Holy Ghost. And I was filled, I was resealed, sealed, hallelujah. The dead was raised, praise God. And miracle after miracle was going on. Messiah. Oh. Hallelujah. You be a brother calls. Calls the yes. You believe that? God can seal you. Showing his signs of being alive. Brother Oblato, raising 
among us. And we are then worshiping the living Christ that's among us. We are worshiping the living Christ. He's there doing these signs and wonders. St. John 14, 12. He that believe in all me, the works that I do shall you do also. It's already happening. It's already you, you pray for years, Lord. Send the miracles, raise the dead, do something. Well, he's doing it. Yes, sir. Glory. Amen. Do you get it? The mystery of God would be revealed, and when that was completely revealed, then the seven mystery would open to the church. And that this just happened last week, February 16th, here, to this church here. Cool, because in there the church would be living under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Him moving in and out, showing his sign, bringing it back now, being alive. And, and among us, living among us. And within worship in the living Christ. That's among us. And what's happening? The people begin to see their names in the book. Amen. That's why they, they're sitting dead. Because they don't, they don't know nothing, they're just sitting dead. Amen. In Revelation 5, 8 through 14. Amen. On gave us instructions. Uh, amen. We have time to read it. Amen. He gave us instructions to Daniel. It's a quote on page 14. Uh, he says here on a quote, the read the, the eighth through the verse 14 of the fifth chapter reveals the time for the Lamb to be worshipped, both in heaven and in the earth. Amen. These seven seal book, the worthy lamb, the kids and redeemer, and from verse 8 through 14, angels worship him. Elders worship him. Living creatures worship him. Praise God. And John worshiped him so much till he said, Every creature in heaven and the earth, underneath the earth, heard me saying, Blessing, glory, power, wisdom, might be to the lamb. Worship time for King Lamb. When does it happen? When the thunders begin to move in and out. When the dead is being raised. When the miracles are starting. Hallelujah. That's the time to raise up. Glory to God. King Lamb is here. Not sit dead. Praise God. It's the time to start a revival. Hallelujah. To make a church. To make a revival. Shall I do also? The works are being done now. Amen. Amen. 
and prayer is more powerful than an atomic and H bomb. So let's continue to pray. Amen. And Terry is already here moving in and out here among us. And the seventh brother revelation is already vindicated among us by releasing the dynamics to the mechanics. December 29th by signs and miracles followed it. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Soon the Holy Spirit pouring out. Here come the signs and wonders and miracles. Oh, praise God. My God. Sir, is this the time for the man for the mathematics of the seven thunders of Revelation 10? Yes. 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 Hey, Amen. Remember, the, the minister cannot bring this revival. Amen. Praise God. Now, the minister cannot bring revival. I just read to you the quote last week because the Holy Spirit knew that there's many looking to me and Brother Abel. So you couldn't move nowhere. So you had me bring that quote last week and said, I cannot bring it. Amen. You bring it. Amen. Where? In your lives, in your home, Amen. on your job. You got to bring it. You got to take this message and start something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, I love you. I praise you. I thank you all. Holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to come down here on this earth and preach to these people here. Praise Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a blessing, what a privilege it is to serve the Lord in this hellhole here on this earth, praise God. Yes, sir, you may be seated. Now, minister cannot bring a revival. There's no preacher can bring a revival. He doesn't pack it with him. And the only thing he can do is just be loyal to God and his word. Amen. And the revival has to come by the people in your home, in your life. Now, revival is the end. Remember, I read the quote last week. Amen. Just bringing it back to you. It's reviving that what we already got. Amen. So stop looking at me. You already got it. Amen. Hallelujah. It was given to you.
excitement to Caesar in good ground by seven thunder revelation. And now it's time for Son of Man to come and seal up. Hallelujah. These seeds are bring up a seven thunder revival. Oh, spiritual history being made. This is for my church here now. Not for outside. This is for you. But yes, I'll tell you who told you that St. Luke 18 8 is, has anything to do with anything. I'm telling my church, shut up. Like I always told them, preach it by faith. I'm preaching to you this morning by faith. And God is anointed from heaven. But I'm preaching to you by faith that this is the hour. This is the time. This right now today, praise God. It's going on right in front of you. The anointing is confirming it to you. There's no way you can doubt it. No way you can disbelieve it. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. Accept it. Believe it. Shut Glory to God. Amen. Maybe it's here. And the people bring on revival with their lives. Seven living voices in the people written epistles and what we have seen since september 1991 up to now should put every soul in action it should make a church a mega revival here in new york city <clears throat> and they would say malachi's fourth prophecy amen about new york city january i mean in, in 1953 is coming to pass and the seventh under revival has broke out as being manifested the power of God, the end time is here in New York City. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. On God's provided place of worship. Amen. The word for each age. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me hurt and get out and get out of here. Praise God. Page 15 of California. Amen. Now we find in each age. When God said a certain thing would happen, here come that man along and manifested that. Malachi 4. Here come their people along and live that. Now where's the minister at? Huh? Where's the minister at? What's he bringing? Here come Malachi 4 to manifest promise. Here come the people in 1992 to live that. To bring on the revival. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You got it now? You may be seated. Here come, uh, uh, here come the people along and live that. That was God himself living in the people because it was an answer of his word. Oh, hallelujah. That is rich, deep. God himself in the people in the time and in the season. In the people. When the people begin to pray. My God. Then the miracles begin to happen. Then the dead is raised. God himself in the people answering Malachi for his message. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. You see it, Brother Andrew? I know you see it. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Oh, hit from the people along and live there. You may be seated. There's your seventh hundred revival. Not the minister bringing it. What was it? That was God himself living in the people because it was an answering of his word. You're not the believer. The word is a believer. You are a piece of 16 elements. But in you is a soul. In your soul is a word. Is a seed. Is a jerk. Is a life.
season is here. The people are mature now. Therefore, wisdom and revelation can be spoken. And the elected seeds are coming out of Pennsylvania, praise God. Or anywhere else. That's why we're having a revival down in Pennsylvania. That's why we're going down there in July for a seventh kind of revival. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. Get next to yourself. Amen. Maybe it's seated. The word said, the seven, uh, seven thunders under the seventh seal are connected to the coming of the Lord. And the people answered, Amen. It's written. It's written. And they believed it. And they lived it. The word said, Sir, this is the time for the meditation of the seventh thunder of Revelation 10. And the people answered, Amen. It's written. And believed it. And lived it. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Praise God. <clears throat> now God's only providing only provided plan today is his son through his word for that for this age, quickened by the spirit of life. Jesus said in St. John 4, the time is coming and now is when God being a spirit will be a worship. Him beside the minister will be in the church moving in and out and showing his time and then you will worship and then you join the heavenly chorus with John and the four beasts and the, and the angels thousand times thousand thousand thousands praise God and the four living creatures and that's today you are to begin to worship you're worshiping the king lamb amen Hallelujah. The time is coming now is when God being the Spirit will be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Yeah. And we preach the truth the seventh. Let us give faith for 17 years. And now the Spirit is here. The dynamics to the mechanics. The Spirit and the truth right in front of you. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> what is it? The Son of Man cometh to seal you up. Himself. He already revealed himself. But after many long years, there'll be a people like this uh, woman, this widow woman, praise God, a that unjust judge out, a hard man, fear not God, and they held on. Then they held on. They believed in thunders. They were criticized. Get out of here, you fools, you. And they held on. Hallelujah. And now they out of his head. Let me see that now, the, now some people have spirit, no truth. Others have truth, no spirit. Amen. Yes, sir. My God. And I think that's what's the matter with the church today. We're lacking that dynamic power to press the word and make it live for this day. And the dynamic power is here now to press the word. Brother Artis was fading, 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 fading. And the dynamic power come on the scene, charity you gives virtue power for service. Fading, Lord, bring his soul back here. Press that word through demon powers, darkness, and everything else. Try to hold on to his soul. But bring him back there to the earth. Shut. Amen. He ain't coming, he's here. Praise God. He's here today. You may be seated. <clears throat> Amen. Glory. The word is said. <clears throat> Question number two. Oh, praise God. Almost finished. When the Son of Man cometh, this is the second question. Shall he find faith on the earth? <clears throat> In New York City and that group found over there on page 304, the fourth seal. You hear what I said? New York City and the group that's in page 304 on the fourth seal. They answer back, Amen. Amen. It's already restored back by Malachi 4, St. Luke 17, 30, Revelation 10, 1 through 7. When they do that, oh, don't miss it. You may be seen it. When they answer back last week, then it's time for the Son of Man to come in and seal up the bride. So I got to preach this message today. He gave it to me in prayer. Hallelujah, Friday. You 
go in there and tell them I'm, I have come. I'm here. It's finished. He's here. He'll move it in and out. Glory. Oh, I wish I had some strength. I wish I was healed. I'd be up in the balcony. Shock. Seated. The answer back. <clears throat> then it's time when the people do this. Then it's time for the Son of Man cometh to seal up the bride. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Huh? Is it coming up to you now? Yes. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I'm on the line now. Praise God. Praise God, page 30. And Brother Ram talked about the chance and jamborees in 2 Timothy 3, resisting the true men of reprobating uh, minds. He said, now not reprobate lies, fine, cultured men, sanctified in the message. Coming so sweet and humble, but denying the thunders and the seal is open. Sweet man. Nice ministers. But denying them thunders. Denying the seven sealers open. Catching silly women. Itching ears want to hear something else other than what's spoken. Watch this prophet here. Now his ever learning. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Which is the seven thunders give faith. Now here's the shocking, here's the shocking part. This this prophet now. Listen to this, he's saying. Now as Jas Jamis withstood Moses, so did these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobates concerning the faith. And seven thunders gives the faith. And they come against it. How can these people think that they're nice? And that's Brother Storm, so come on, some, some more garbage. Concerning the faith that was once delivered to the sentence, of course, concerning the faith, and he shall turn the, the faith of the fathers or the children back to the fathers. Reprobate concerning the faith. You know what reprobate means? If you got a school for your Bible, there's an H there right in there that says apostasy. That's what it is. The apostasy. Amen. Now, just a minute. I want, I want to look up something here. I think I wrote it down here. I'm not sure, but I want to say it and look it up uh, before I say it. Now, just one minute. Reprobates concerning the truth, concerning the faith, the, the faith. Well, there's only one faith, one Lord, one baptism, one God, one Father, one Spirit. That's in Ephesians. Another Ephesians is here. Once delivered to the saints and fought for and restored back by Malachi 4. Amen. It is time for the Son of Man to come in to seal up the bride with the dynamics to the mechanics. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, <clears throat> there's only one faith that's right concerning the faith reprobates. Now I want to turn over to St. Luke 18. And he spoke a parable to, to this end, and the man to pray always not faint, saying, There was a city, a judge, which feared not God, regarded not man. And there was a widow in the same city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he, he would not for a while, but afterwards he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because that's, this widow troubled me, I would avenge her lest by coming she weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Now you hear what that unjust judge said. Go home and read it. Amen. And then, and shall not God avenge his elect? Huh? He didn't bring you out here to, to be a mockery. To be scoffed at. I'm not this Jose here because I'm 
Jose also, amen. Praise God, amen. You catch what I'm saying? No way is God going to leave you out here like that. No way is he going to leave your children bound by the devil. No way. But you ought to pray in that faith. Amen, Mina. I'm so filled. I don't know what to say. Shall not God Elohim huh? avenge his elect which crieth unto him day and night unto him, though he bear along with them about 26 years? Huh? Shut. Glory. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. You don't have to wait any longer, Brother Larry, but hold on now. Glory. Right here. May you see it. I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Now watch. It's parable here. Nevertheless, now watch. I'm going to avenge them speedily. But nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, not revealed himself, he already did. Yeah. He already revealed himself to the prophet. But now he's coming. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, see, in the message, all the America, Canada, everywhere, when he cometh, there were no split beams about this scripture here. I preached it years ago, and they still, huh? What? They're still trying to unravel St. Luke 17:30. Here, but you can handle it. He told me to bring it in here. Why? Wait till he owe them seven thunders to that group that can hand the word of God there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, sister. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
strong and godliness, anointed with the seven seed message, but nothing in there. Preaching six seals, and you are feasting on the hidden man under the seventh seal. Hallelujah, praise God. And amen. Oh, watch. He says, uh, listen, go back and read it. Reprobates concerning not reprobates in living, they're fine in cultured man. Fine men in the message. Dr. Holy Hobby. And all of them. You understand what I'm saying? They're still trying to think about that mystery of Hoopy Holly. Yeah. Praise God. <clears throat> Fine cultured man. Now notice when Moses went down to Egypt with a message, thus saith the Lord. And those anointed ones came against him. Oh, hallelujah. Did you get it? Oh, my. There's only one faith. Amen. St. Luke 18 and 8. And prayer is more powerful. Now let's get back to this middle woman. We'll close out. Amen. Yes, Amen. Prayer is the most is more powerful than the tonic H law. And he spake a parable unto them thus, and that the uh, might uh, that men uh, ought to always pray and not faint. Amen. Notice uh, these points about this parable about prayer. It illustrates the necessity of persevering when prayer is not answered immediately. See, don't what are you giving up for because you didn't get the Holy Ghost on you and you ain't been back here four months. What in the world are you crazy over? I've been at his in 1961. And you've been back here four months and you're looking for something? <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? Are you insane? <laughs> and now watch it no more. She repeatedly came. Testament the judge beyond in endurance. She didn't, there was no give up in her. This is not the time for giving up. This is the time for holding on. It wasn't in her seed. There's no give up in the seed. The seed cannot give up. Though they stagger, praise God, but they're strong, giving praise to God. How can a seed of God give up when it's God himself answering in the people? Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. God put fire on that in your soul. The seed of God can never give up. Seed of God cannot sin. Sin is unbelief. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to finish it now. She repeatedly came pressing the church beyond endurance, which was the secret of her success in getting an answer. There's your secret. Stay there. Two years, five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty-five years. Hang in there. That's the secret. No one had the secret. On twenty years, three Hebrew boys had the secret. Old King, we will not worship the image the world comes to churches.
looking for success and getting an answer. She held on. Amen. But the pestering went on without a let up and changed the judge's mind. She changed his mind. He was a mean rascal. He was a dirty rascal. He didn't fear God or nobody. Hallelujah. But she changed his mind. Then what about a loving Savior? What about a God that come down and took on human skin and died for you and me? How can that God, how can he give up on you? How many times did he forgive you? Seventy times seven. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. How, hold on. Hold on. This is not the time for giving up. This is the time. Lord, 
Because the Holy Spirit is power. There's power in the Holy Spirit. There is power in your worship. There is power in your praise. There is power in your prayer. Hallelujah. And when you pray, something begins to happen. But when you come here all dead and all dried up, brother, you are not a true worshiper. Then you become a false worshiper. But a true worshiper must worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. So all those of you that cannot open your mouth and say amen, you are not a true worshiper. You are not a true worshiper. You are a false worshiper. But the time has come, praise God. The Spirit is going to quicken the bride, quicken the true worshiper, give you power, give you something, give you overcoming power. You will walk in here, brother, and you will live with power from on high. You will live with the dynamics of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm not here to see something happen. I am here to make something happen. Come on now. I'm here to make something happen. Hallelujah. If I've never prayed before, you better watch me pray now. If you have never jumped before, you better start jumping now. You better cast the no praise demons out of your life. Because the time has come that when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find the faith? Shall he find the people worshiping? Shall he find the people praying? Shall he find the people believing the word? Shall he find the people holding on to the prophet's message? Oh, not just the people coming to church. Hallelujah. And you're going to see the power of this church rise. That every false spirit will leave this place. Watch it now. I told you before, you are going to see them spirits leaving the church. Hallelujah. Because when the showdown comes, but rather they're going to show their true colors. Hallelujah. Oh, but the word is going to be overcoming. The way that the believer will overcome them. The way that the believer will overcome them. So in your homes, you've got to be a believer. In your homes, you've got to be a believer, a true worshiper, standing with the word. Oh, glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, Bercola said, will the false anointed destroy the faith? But I say, no way. The false anointed, they can't destroy the message of our kind of God. Because there's power on that word. Christ is that word revealed. Luke 17, 30 is revealing the word as promises. And we receive the promise of the Father. Because Jesus said, tarry ye, oh hallelujah, in the city of Jerusalem until you are endured with power. But before then, he said, I send the promise of the Father upon you. Oh, glory be to the living God. And the promise that the word said that it is too late now because the word is in the bride. And that bride knows what to do with the word. So, brother, when they tempt you, you have the word in there. Oh, bless them that curse you. Why? The word is in you. Oh, glory be to the living God. When you are weak, you can look back to the word and say, I am strong. When you are sick, you look back to the word and say, by his stripes, I am healed. Oh, the devil can stop you. No praise can stop you. Don't stand there and look at me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise him tonight. Praise be to the living God. We are here to worship. Let the word quicken you up. Quicken you up. Quicken you up. Because one of these days you are going to walk in this door and the door will be the place to be empty. Because we are going on a rupture. We are making preparation for the rupture. We are getting ready to leave this world. Praise be to the living God. The false anointed. And when we talk about false anointed, we're not just talking about preachers. Believers too. You can't leave that word. We are a false anointed one. Hallelujah. You cannot praise God. You cannot be a true worshiper. You are a false anointed. Amen. Huh? So when we talk about false anointed, they have, it's become a ritual. We come to check, we clap our hands, we sing ritualistic. No, we are looking for our people that are connected. Connected with the word in spirit. Not just in the word, but in spirit. So the word and spirit must connect in your souls. And when you walk in here, brother, no one will tell you to sing. No one will tell you to clap. No one will tell you to say amen. Because you know why you come here. Praise be to the living God. But if there's any other motive, we are going to break the bounds of center. If any other person is here for any other motive than to serve God, Brother, the power of God is here to check that spirit, to kick that spirit out of here and blast that devil back to hell from where it came from. Oh, come on now. 
Hallelujah. Oh, let's, when the force of faith destroy the faith, they can't destroy the faith. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. That's why it's come to the life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the power is in the life. Amen. Huh? Amen. Without the life, the tree is dead. Yes, Without the life, no flowers. Yes, Without the life, no, no, no leaves. Amen. It's dry and it's up for firewood. Yes, Praise God, we break it up for fire. Yes, but brother, the life is there to check the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. And the life is there has power to repel. Yes. Repel every no praise. Yes. Repel every gossip. Repel every unforgiving. Repel every pride. Repel every praise. Go for spirit. That life is there. The life of the word. The life of the Messiah. Praise be to the living God. So the pride connects with the life. The life of the word. Oh, and I'm so happy today to know that Malachi false message will never be destroyed. Can never be destroyed because it is it's produced a bride. And that bride is promised perfection. That bride is promised power. That bride is given authority. The power is there, but we have the authority to operate the power on behalf of God today. Oh, and I see when he comes back, he's going to find the people. He's going to find a bride in Kamale that are standing for the word. Standing for the word to see the word vindicated for their day. Oh, come on now. the seed to give up. Amen. Hallelujah. No temptation can get the seed to give up. Amen. The three Hebrew children could not give up on the word. They stood there no matter what the decree was. Hallelujah. No, no temptation is big enough to let the seed of God give up. Amen. That's why the seed cannot sing. Now, you hear me now? You know the life is in there. So how can you be a seed and sing? No, you can't sing because sin is unbelief. But we believe the word so we are standing there. Whatever the word says don't do, we will stand and not do it. No matter your position. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of a living God. Amen. 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 So we thank God tonight. Amen. I believe on Sunday we're going to have a good time. Hallelujah. And I'm going to play a team for you on Sunday uh, during the Sunday school. Amen. Amen. There's a WhatsApp tape somebody sent to me. I'm going to play it to you on Sunday. Amen. Then you know that you better wake up. Amen. When we talk this thing, you think we are playing games. Huh? The World Council of Churches is tightening it up. Amen. Huh? Amen. They are all signing a course to bring one religion to the world. One world peace. And you think these are stories. Huh? It's coming. They will close these doors one of these days. Huh? But brother, you better let the power of God be in your soul. Amen. Praise be to the living God. Amen. Because you see what is happening in America. Amen. Praise be to the living God. But brother, we know it by the word. Amen. Because brother Brahma has told us already. Yes. But the dynamics must be in the church. Amen. The dynamics is not just going to fill this space. That when you walk in, you get low. It must be in you. Amen. You make up the church. Where two or three are gathered in my name. Amen. So if you think the pastor is worrying you to praise him and to get the Holy Spirit, you will soon find out. Hallelujah. But I am ready now. I'm ready today, right now. Let them bring the screen. I am ready. But you better be ready. Praise be to the living God. Either you stand for that word or you receive the mark. Which way are you going to go? Hallelujah. When it comes and you find the people standing to take a hold on to that faith. You can't pray 10 minutes. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. It's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Two shall be in the bed, one taking one left. It's coming. Amen. Two shall be in the field, one taking one left. Praise God. Hallelujah. Two shall be grinding, washing. One taking one left. Christ is coming down. Amen. Don't think these are stories, brother. It is living reality. Amen. One morning, the world will wake up to a shock. And the rupture is gone. We must get ourselves in shape Amen. for the rupture to come. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So you better realize that this is not a game. Amen. You have all day to sleep. Two, three hours in church is a burden. What will it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Oh, if I miss the rapture, I'll make the tribulation. You don't know what is coming. Go and read the Fox's book of Matthias and see if you can stand it. But that was just a foretaste. Hallelujah. I'm not scaring you now, but I'm telling you what is coming. Oh, you shall be adopted. Hey, and you are there shouting, jumping, and making no preparation. Brother, what we know should make a child that will make a revival. Huh? Still there with attitudes. And you think God is coming to pour His Spirit on that? No way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you better be ready when He comes now. Yeah. Are you ready when He comes? Yeah. Are you going to be prayed up? Yeah. You better let prayer be in your life. Yeah. A prayerless Christian is a what? A powerless Christian. Yeah. Don't pray in the church. Pray at home. Yeah. When you can pray and fast at home. Without anybody telling you to pray and fast, sure. then you are making preparation huh? yes. to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Yes. You only come to church 30 minutes, you, are, you can't pray. Some don't pray yes, because it's one hour. Huh? Don't worry. They shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Are you hearing me now? Yes. You don't think that the pastor is worried, you know. You can't pray now. Reserve the energy. They will be willing and gnashing of teeth. Those that are strong will overcome. Hallelujah. They shall continue the praises up there. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But when he comes, shall he find the faith? Amen. Shall he find the people holding on to the message of Malachi 4? In this purity, not dogmas. Not following a man. Because no man brings the revival. Amen. No church brings the revival. Amen. The people bring the revival. Amen. You bring the revival. Amen. In your individual life. Amen. So get away from sin. Get away from laziness. And let the Holy Spirit connect with you. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready to surrender? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And let him come into your heart. Amen. Let him take over. Because you can't do it by your imagination and your reasoning and your human effort. You've got to surrender and let him come in. Then he gives you power Amen. for the rest of the journey. Now, as long as you don't have that consciousness, look at that woman. She persevered. Pressed on. Keep worrying this man. Keep. You are not worrying God. Huh? The more you pray, the more God listens to you. Amen. Don't worry him. God has got the whole wealth in his hand. Keep knocking. You can't go to the like a fish, go to the ocean and say, Oh, I'm gonna take my time and drink this seawater or else it will finish. Can, it, can that little fish consume the seawater? How much more can you exhaust the blessings of the living? But you can't. He's got more. He's got more. More to come. But you are not even scratching the little tiniest bit of it. Hallelujah. It's time to wake up. When he cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Keep praying. Amen. Keep reading. Amen. Keep studying. Amen. Keep being an expectation for the coming of the Lord. Amen. If we are an expectation for the coming of the Lord, there will not be one problem in your home. Do not be one problem in the church. Do not be one problem in your life. But every second of your life, you are under expectation for the coming of the Lord. When He cometh, will He find you worthy of the faith? Hallelujah. Even so. Even so. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so, even 
Amen. 